Welcome back, everyone. All right, so I could talk forever about different kinds of variables. There's a lot of them in C++. Depending on the environment, uh, some of them would be you can use them elsewhere. But for the most part, these are the basic ones you need to get started. Let me talk a little bit about global and local variables. So if I go, for example, int, and I'm going to call this global A, like that, okay? And we go ahead and we run this here. See, it works here. This is what we call a global variable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in global A, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And you see that global A, since we didn't initialize it, is equal to 0. So let's go ahead and initialize that and make that 9. So if we run this again, the second number should be 9, okay? And that makes perfect sense here. And just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to get rid of this here just so that we have, um, we have something here. Now, let's go ahead and let's call that second main here. All right, so we're going to call second main, okay? And I'm going to talk a little bit. So do you think we can call int a in second main here? And the answer, we'll just find out here. I know the answer, of course. But let's just go ahead and run it, okay? It says undeclared identifier a, meaning that within this, uh, in this function here, there is no A, and that makes perfect sense. Because when you go ahead and you declare this variable in int main, you can only use it in int main, okay? Now, you can pass this variable into second main, which we'll talk about, don't worry. But you can't use A in int main. But here's what we can do, and this might be a little bit confusing, but I'm going to go over it, so don't worry. I can give an int A here, and I can make it equal to something different. I can make it equal to 1. Okay, so in int main, this int a or integer a, that variable, is equal to 3. But in this one, second main, int a or integer a is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and run that here. And you can see that this actually works out quite well. Okay, and before we do that here, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put a uh, slash n just so that it puts second main on a different. All right, so there we go. This is so awesome put a space there. Okay, run that again. And so as you can see here, uh, we have, we can have as many different functions as we want. And then we can also have as many different local variables as we want. So this area means that global A can be seen within uh, second main and int main and pretty much everywhere throughout this document here. So if, again, if we type in global A, we can go ahead and run this here. You can see that scores 9, this is awesome 9. We can, we can access that variable anywhere we want, okay? But in int main, uh, we, uh, we can only access A, and in second main, we can only access A as well. Now, why do we go ahead? Now, this could, you're, you're probably thinking this is going to be really confusing. Why would we put two variables that are exactly the same, right? And the reason is, is that sometimes, for example, uh, you, what you can do is you can put up these uh, these uh, functions here, and what they can uh, they can do is they can what we call inherit uh, uh, inherit information from another. So, for example, the the game example is the best. Let's say you have a a bunch of enemies, right? And they all have health, shields, and and weapons damage. Well, you can make you know the function of enemies and then you can have all your different ones and then those enemies would inherit the the information from the other from the main uh the main uh, enemy there so um you can go ahead and do that here this gets confusing so i don't recommend doing this right away and you're probably thinking well why don't we just make all our uh, variables global variables uh well that is true but sometimes you just need something really really short in, uh, in there and by the way by the way, we will be getting into other areas where we have curly brackets, okay? So let's say here we have a curly bracket, and we're going to have, like, um, a command. Now, this is, this is pseudocode, but let's say you have a command and then a curly bracket here, and then you go ahead and declare a variable in here. So we're going to call this, like, int, you know, v or something like that. Int v can only be seen within these curly brackets. So where the variable can be seen is only within the curly brackets. All right, and this is what we call variable scope, okay? So the scope of the variable is either here, right, or global. It's all dependent on where the curly brackets are. All right, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.